got you. Yo, it's your boy Woodrow, you know what I'm saying? Lead and art of building ATL, the music exec in the game. You already know, man. You're watching Hip Hop Weekly. Shout out Kim, so major. Brianna, I see you. Let's get it. Hey, Hip Hop Weekly All Access. This is Brianna, and we're here live today with the one and only Woodrow. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Man. And our signs. You already know, you already know, you know, how the big things pop, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all having me, for real, for real. Okay, well, welcome to Hip Hop Weekly. Introduce yourself. Yeah, um, you know, for those who don't know, my name is Woodrow. Uh, I am a music exec, uh, one of the lead a rs at the building ATL, uh, which is a conglomerate of Hustle Game, Defiant, um, and Atlantic Records. Um, and, you know, work with some of the biggest artists in the game. Uh, the, these days, uh, music labels, or record labels rather, are not developing artists, you know, so we get in there, we do the dirty work. Um, we uh, have our fingerprints are on the careers um, of, you know, artists like Lil Key, uh, Tokyo Jets, Paper Love, so on and so forth. A lot of these new trailblazers, uh, you know, we actually get them off the ground, you know. Right. Um, you know, like I said, you know, it's, it, it's, been a, it's been a long journey and uh, yeah, just just working. working. So, yeah. Dope, dope, dope. So what influenced you to become an A&R and get into the music industry? Um, I look at it like uh, that's the difference between uh, choosing and being chosen. Uh, I really didn't see myself doing this. Um, I got into music, uh, you know, so to speak, uh, to make money. You know, I was uh, I was an artist, but I didn't uh, take the artistry that serious. I did it more so because my hood wanted me to rap. <laughs> but um, as I was doing it, you know. Uh, you have to be self-sufficient as an artist. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You have to, you know, keep your revenue coming in order to invest. Uh, therefore, uh, I was, you know, studying so many other uh, artists and labels um, that, you know, that, that I had reached uh, that were in my, my vicinity. So, and I was watching Yo Gotti and I was watching Gucci Mane. And a lot of these cats were uh, sponsoring their own shows. A lot of these cats were investing in their own shows. Mm -hmm. And they would have other artists opening up for them. So uh, I started doing that, and uh, I was doing shows. I was booking shows from I, my first show I booked was Jody Breeze, so they let you know, you know what I'm saying how far back. Right. right. But uh, I mean, from T.D. Boy before Two Chains, and um, I did that for several years. Uh, I ended up uh, working with uh, Onyx Gentlemen's Club uh, here in Atlanta for um, for several years, and uh, I was. Um, booking and helping a lot of artists get their careers off the ground there as well mm -hmm. because with the Unix platform and as I was bringing artists through like Derez Deshaun, Jose Guapo, Cap G, Money Man, so on and so forth, a lot of these, these were their first shows. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, uh, with doing that, uh, I eventually uh, kept working with different venues and I started mm -hmm. working with the Palace on Old Nat on Southside. Mm -hmm. And uh, didn't I didn't know, I, uh, as many times I've been in that club, I never knew that it was affiliated with Hustle Gang. Mm -hmm. uh, but I used to I always see a lot of Hustle Gang, you know, right. affiliates and a lot of stuff around. Uh, so once I started working with them, uh, I brought eardrums through uh, one weekend and 30 Rock came through and uh, uh, that was it was a great night. Uh, and I brought Zay Tobin one night, and uh, a lot of people, um, you know, they were affiliated with the club. They were like, man, bro, you actually know these people? You can do this, you can do that. So I was like, yeah, you know, and they were like, come by the studio. Let's see if we can put something together. So it's basically I'm using my same resources, uh, you know, same energy, a lot of the same methods uh, in a different field. And uh, shout out my big homie Stroud. You know, he saw something in me, mm -hmm. um, you know, that could be, uh, beneficial to his operation, and uh, you know, it's been full speed ahead ever since. Uh, he brought me in as an ANR. One of the first projects we worked on was Akbar V. Okay. Um, 
Uh, and uh, we, we did our project, uh, Brazil to Blanca. Um, and, uh, I mean, we got features from K. Michelle uh, and, you know, other other big names as well. So, you know, just coming in and, you know, working with a team of that statue, of that magnitude, you know, uh, it, it made me <laughs> step my game up you know, right. tremendously. But uh, just, you know, in a nutshell, uh, I, 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 I act as a bridge, um, you know, from the boardroom to the streets. You know, uh, I deal with the artists and, you know, the circumstances that the label would rather not deal with, and mm -hmm. then I go convey the message, right. you know, to them uh, with etiquette, <laughs> and uh, you know, and get the job done, and get you know, get the papers pushed, and get the agenda, you know, to the next level. That's what That's I'm basically up. That's what's up. So, what do you think the definition of an A and R is? Like, what 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 is it today? An A and R today. Um, a babysitter. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> yo, uh, man, you know it, it has so many mad different hats and levels. You got, it's just so much. But right. I mean, to, to like I said in a nutshell, sum it all up. I say get the job done. That's okay. what I'm there for. I'm there to get right. the job done. Um. A lot of these, a lot of these big wigs at these labels, they they don't understand the trends. They don't, you know, they don't even listen to half this music. You know, they just mm -hmm. want <laughs> they want that bag. You right. Know? right. So at the end of the day, you know, they're relying on our analytics and they're relying on these artists that you know they feel are proven. Mm -hmm. So you know, they call me. Um, I have several producers that I've worked with uh, for years. Um, that's you know that's where it's a start. Shout out to producers in the game for real, uh, creating sounds, and then you know get the artists. And okay. you know once once I get the artist, it's not just uh, man, let's go in here and make a song. You know you don't know what mood that guy is in today. You know mm -hmm. you don't you know you don't you don't know what financial state he's in. You don't know you know because you got starving artists out here. You right. know for real for real. Right. Uh, you know you. you you just don't know what's going on, and a lot of people get so caught up in the business that you're thinking about fans, you're thinking about artists, you're thinking about associates, to the point you forget that you're dealing with people. And once you know, once I get all of those moving parts in that, in that in that in that one environment, which is the studio, you know, like I said, I I ask the artist, "How you feeling? What what what, what mood you in?" Most artists say, "Um, I'll go with the beat." You know what I'm saying? Whatever the beat tells me, let's go. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we play the production, boom, boom, boom. And you you never know, like I said, what that artist is going through. So, you know, sometimes it takes longer than others. But at the same time, that artist, as I said, he may be going through something. So, you know, we've recorded two or three hours and we're still not getting anywhere. And I look around and I'm like, you know, I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. So... You know, maybe he's hungry. <laughs> you know, he's, no one said anything. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, people getting angry and cranky around here. Let me order some pizza or something. You know what I'm saying? You never, you never know. And then after I order the pizza, now we got a better vibe. You know what I'm saying? Everyone is uplifted, this and that. But that to me, you know, troubleshooting and seeing what's going on and feeling out what's going on in this environment. You know. And like I said, it's, 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 it's like to, to sum it all up, it's like babysitting. It really is. And you know, get the job done. Exactly. And the label has their agenda, but the artist has his agenda as well. So, you know, the artist may want to, you know, do a club song today, but the label wants them to do a female gear song. So that's on me to, you know, get the job done. And, and that's what it is. Okay. Yeah. What's your involvement with uh, Tokyo Jets? Oh, shout out to Tokyo. You know, play the go. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. Uh, man, um, right now, um, you know, I would say I'm, I'm part of, you know, one of her biggest hits. You know, wow. um, you know, I it was it's a privilege, you know, to work with uh, an artist. Uh, 
that talent. No. Uh, I mean, any beat you put in front of a chicken, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she can eat it up for real, for real. And I mean, like, she, she, she's still discovering herself. Mm-hmm. And I mean, man, um, just like I said, working with Tokyo, um, in specific, the No Problem record, um, it, 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 it really, it made things real for me, it, you know. Uh, I in music I got so used to creating the vibe, creating the avenues and the lanes so much that I never really saw it build organically. You know, it, I, it was so much you know pressing, forcing the issue, you know, pushing buttons and, and connecting the dots to the point where I never just really saw uh, a record that just man just caught the wave, caught fire on its own. And um, when we made the, the, the No Problem record, uh, I remember we were recording it. Um, she, uh, she she had it on a live. Mm-hmm. And man, the hearts were going crazy. And I mean, I'm talking about like people like, drop this, drop this, drop this, drop this, you know. Uh, and it, you know, it was, it was, and it was basically the same recipe. That was the vibe she was in, you know what I'm saying? I, I guess she was, you know what I'm saying, fed up with, Cats in her DM, you know right. what I'm saying? And, you know, these these false promises, you know what I'm saying, and so on and so forth. And, you know, uh, we found the right we found the right beat, the right canvas, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Stupid Beats. Uh, shout out Eva G, Diane Cuzzo, you know what I'm saying, drama section. Uh, and, man, she made a monster, you know, and, and now to see that crowd reaction. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, the crowd actually, actually Chain it, you know, like you can't pay for it, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, you pay for a lot of stuff, you know right. what I'm saying? Right. Like, for real, for you, you scrape your pennies up, you pay for hip hop weekly, you know what I'm saying? Right. You pay for a few things, mm-hmm. but you can't pay for it, you know, uh, man, thousands of people, you right. know what I'm saying, uh, reciting your work, you know, so you know, to see that, you know, it, it's a beautiful thing, for real, for real, and just, I'm just on. Blessed, blessed to be a part of it. Grateful. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So, what's the best way for an artist, you know, to prepare for, you know, themselves for an A and R, you know? Um, the best way to prepare yourself for an for an A and R, um, I would say is to take yourself seriously. <laughs> like, uh, you know. A lot of people you have the yes men around you, your family members, you know, uh, you know, a lot of cats, you know, just naive. Like, you know, you know your music isn't up to par. You know, you know you only let your, your friend listen to it in the car. You know what I'm saying? Like, you should a lot of artists, you should test the waters, you know, you should do these open mics. A lot of cats feel like, you know, you're bigger than an open mic, but you know, practice makes perfect. So therefore, you know, you're going in there, you're filling out the crowd, you're seeing what works, you know, you're seeing if you actually have good music, if they're going to, you know, give you a great reaction as well, you know, and these are people who are foreign to you, foreign to your music, so therefore they're going to give you a fresh opinion. So, you know, um, like I said, take yourself seriously. Um, uh, you know, if if this is an A&R from, I don't care where they're, you know what I'm saying, Dev Jam, 300, whatever label, um, you know, this may be your only shot. And if you're a real artist, I'm pretty sure you heard of mix and mastering. And, you know, uh, you know, you know, these different producers in the game, you know, that are working with these labels. So, you know, why would you feel that you can further your agenda without getting your music professionally mixed and mastered? You know, without, you know, having a few familiar names involved in it. Right. You know, it doesn't have to be like little Baby on your song all the time. <laughs> or it doesn't have to be Young Land on your production all the time. Or it doesn't have to be Hip Hop Weekly as the blog. But please have a blog. Or please have, you know, some type of familiarity dealing with your product. I mean, your project, you know, and your product itself. You know, uh, that this, this is a business. This is a business, and you know, and, and, and 
for a lot of people, it's still a hobby. So until you treat it as a business, you know, it's going to continue to be a hobby. Okay. Okay. Who are the last three artists that you were excited about working with? Last three artists I've been excited about working with, uh, that's and it comes, you know, straight off the top of my head. Uh, this is a little bit more than three, but. I started with Lil Mario, you know, free Lil Mario. I just talked to my little bro. We just got a bun for him. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna come home. We got some big things planned. For real, for real. Lil Mario is monster 16 years old. He's not scared of any beat. You know, I got I got production from Young Wayne, Dirty Rock, Shout out to Buck Hussein, Edward Mafia, Self Got the Waves, my Big Homie Stroud, FKI, Beat Monsters. You know what I'm saying? Shopping boy flow. You know what I'm saying? Got 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 so much great production, and this young boy is not afraid of it at all. So shout out to Mario. That's on the way. Uh, young Dro, my big brother. You know, Young Dro is due for a hit. You know what I'm saying? We got plenty of them in uh, mind, and uh, once we drop, you know, the world gonna see what we've been doing. Uh, so Young Dro, uh, of course, Tokyo Jets. Saying the baby goat, uh, you know, what I'm saying the hood is so proud to her going on right now, man. She she's going to new heights. Uh, Johnny Blaze, you know, what I'm saying like you know crossing over from the reality show to you know the, the music realm. You know, what I'm saying I'm seeing it flourish uh, beautifully. You know, what I'm saying so. I mean, man, hey, Loso loaded, man. Shout out my boy Loso, uh, the whole basic loaded family. I'm saying a lot of you know, you know what I'm saying, like uh, nephew. I mean, man, uh, there are so many like different genres, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, and, and, and man, different energies, you know what I'm saying, that I'm working with right now. You know, like I think every, all the artists I just mentioned are in like a different genre almost, you mm -hmm. know. You got Tokyo as a female arsonist, you know what I'm saying, on, on the mic. You got Lil Mario, who's melodic, you know what I'm saying. In real life, you got Young Dro, who can do anything, you know what I'm saying. You got Johnny Blaze, who's just, oh my God, like, you know what I'm saying, inside and out, a monster, you know. Any any instrument, like wow. anything you put in front of, for real, you, see, you know. know. And low soul, man, you know what I'm saying. In this, you know, this era of the melody rap, you know, you hear a lot of it. You know what I'm saying. Not knocking it at all. I'm just saying it's a lot of just more of it. You know, he's one of the few uh, rappers who uses natural vocal capabilities. And, you know what I'm saying. Like got got a lot of big things in the making. So. Yeah, and uh, also Jehovah, you know what I'm saying? We, you know, we're going to look out for Jehovah. Got some big names, you know. That drunk nights with B. Simone. It's amazing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shout out B2. But yeah, you know, um, got a few artists. I hope y'all know a few of those people. Okay, well, is there anything else you want to let our listeners know? Um, anything you got coming up? Um, well, yeah, we got that uh, Young Dro, I Am Legend 2 coming. It's, okay. and, it's, and it's crazy. Look out it, for that. it is crazy. Uh, I know we got production from Cook That Up, Quay. You know what I'm saying? Young Lands, 30 Ross, 808. You know what I'm saying? List goes on. Um, got the Free with Mario project that drops uh, this Friday, actually. Um, you know, um, China Blaze got big stuff going on. Low So Loaded. Goat Mode is already out. Uh, it's crazy as well. Uh, you know, and you know, besides that, as I said, I I work, you know, in the the entertainment realm, you know, longer than you know just being a part of music. So you know, I've also curated stages with South by Southwest, uh, with Kim and Hip Hop Weekly, um, and A Three C as well. You know, so um, you know, one of our first um, South by Southwest shows, we had Meg the Stallion, you know what I'm saying? Meg is, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real. You just got I, finished talking about it. Hey, yeah, yes. yeah, look at it now. Okay. You know, for real, just exactly. About step it. by step, step yeah, by exactly. step. You know, exactly. we got a little baby at our A through C stage a few years back, you know, when he was first. He just, you know, so, you know, just 
like, like I said, have my fingerprints on it and, you know what I'm saying, actually being a part of it because this game can become smoke and mirror so fast. You know, everybody knows somebody. Everybody is doing something, doing this and doing that. And, you know, for me to actually be with a team, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, that's winning Grammys, you know. And, I mean, man, putting up points on the board, getting plaques, you know what I'm saying. And, you know, so on and so forth. Like like I said, I'm, I'm just grateful. You know what I'm saying? It's a privilege, for real. Um, and, you know, I'm, um, you know what I'm saying, doing my part. For real, for real. Definitely. Definitely. Well, congratulations on all of your successes. Thank you. You know, definitely. Well, you know, leave us with your social media handles and how you can be reached. Alrighty. Well, yeah, uh, you can catch me on IG at Woodrow1K. That's Woodrow, like Woodrow Wilson, W-O-O-D-R-O-W-1-K. Um, you can catch me on Twitter at Block Market Boss, spelled exactly as it said, you know, or, you know, you can scroll down the building ATL page, you know, spelled exactly as it said. And, you know, if you see me tagged on some work or something, you know what I'm saying, feel free to follow the kid. But if you follow the building ATL, you know what I'm saying, like, you'll, you'll see, you know, the whole team, you know what I'm saying. I ain't got no choice but to win my whole team. Like, for real, feel like the Warriors right now. Golden State, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. I'll be Draymond, you know what I'm saying? I'll take Draymond right now. As long as we get the ring, you right. see, I ain't got this stuff. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> so, get it. Definitely. Well, we do appreciate you for checking in and speaking of Hip Hop Weekly. I appreciate y'all. Thank you, Brianna. Thank you, Kim. So major. Never mind. Believe that. Let's eat. <laughs>